Lately, everyone seems to be trying to jump ship from Twitter to this new thing called Mastodon. But when they do it, the first thing many of them say is, I don't get Mastodon. How does it work? It's actually not complicated, just different from what you're used to. Here's a really simple explanation to help get you started. Mastodon isn't a company, it's a technology. So when you think about Mastodon, don't try to think of it like the company Twitter. Think of it like email, which is a technology. You can get an email account to use from many places. Google, Microsoft, your school, the company you work for, etc. But no matter where you get your email account from, you can use it to talk to anyone else that has an email account, regardless of where they signed up for it. That's Mastodon. There's no single company, rather anyone can set up a Mastodon server, also called an instance. You could someday see Google, Microsoft, your school, or the company you work for set up Mastodon instances that you can use. But for the moment, it's mostly people, like you, setting up their own servers. So you just need to pick one, sign up, and start using it. And no matter which server you sign up for, you can find people from other servers, follow them, and communicate with them, just like email, remember? By default, your feed in Mastodon can be a little quiet. That's because unlike Twitter, Mastodon isn't aggressively pushing content at you via computer algorithm. Rather, it's up to you to go out, find people that you think are interesting, and follow them. Once you do that, their posts will begin showing up in your feed. If you're not sure where to start, go up to the search bar at the top of your Mastodon instance, type a hashtag followed by some topic you're interested in, and start scrolling. If you find someone who said something interesting, just follow them, and their posts will begin showing up on your feed. Now you're off to the races. Once you've done this, the experience becomes somewhat similar to how you've used other social media sites before. You can like comments, reshare them to your timeline, and even post your own comments. And that's what Mastodon is all about. So remember, it's not hard, just slightly different than what you're used to. Give it a day or two, and you'll get the hang of it. And remember, the community is what you make of it, and this is our collective opportunity to build something better than what social media has been so far. In the words of the great Bill and Ted, be excellent to each other. This video was created by Tilvids, a free community-supported video site. We use the excellent PeerTube software, which is sort of like the mastodon of YouTube. If you like this video, head over to tilvids.com for more great content just like it. Thanks for watching.